Okay guys, I recently asked what kind of videos you wanted me to make in the off season when the Halloween stores are closed. A lot of you said abandoned stuff, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I filmed this place in Ohio before I left. Right now, I am in Florida, surrounded by palm trees. I'm at a resort right now with this enormous swimming pool back here. I've been swimming in there and having a blast. If you want to see more of what's happening with me in Florida, you can go to my other channel. The name is Romancing the States. I just got married. You can even watch the wedding over there. But for now, I wanted to make this video to give you guys some insight and let you know that I am in Florida. I have been here for about three weeks or so, but the video you're about to see, I filmed before I left Ohio. I can't even remember what the area was, and I believe it's an abandoned Perkins. You already know what it is from the title. But anyways, yes, I did not travel from Florida back to Ohio and then back to Florida. I filmed this before I left Ohio. So that should take care of any of the confusion because I know that some people are watching this channel and the other channel and they're getting confused with the times and the dates and where I'm at and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm even confused myself. In the past month, I have been to Kentucky, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, all over places guys if you want to see all that stuff come on over to the other channel again it's called romancing the states i am living in an rv with my wife traveling the united states and we are filming all kinds of awesome stuff adventures today we have a really awesome place we're going i'm not going to tell you about it you'll just have to come over there and see but for now enjoy this video all right guys check this out this is totally sweet i don't even know where i am i think i'm in canfield ohio I'm not even sure. I'm driving out to somewhere else and I just passed an abandoned Perkins. Well, I passed and then I turned around. Check this place out. Oh my gosh. The sign out front is such a dead giveaway when you see it like this. It's like, that was a Perkins. Oh, and I'm not talking about this one that says Perkins. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got that one. Hello, Perkins. But we got this one right here. Totally empty skeleton of a Perkins sign. Holy crap, and it still says welcome. But look at this building here, guys. Look at how the sign is still on the front. That is so cool. Let's go check it out. Yeah, check this out, guys. So cool. I love that the sign is still up here. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> it's kind of starting to like show some wear. Up here it's bending around the P. And, uh, yeah, that, that looks totally awesome, though. Check that out. All right, we're going to look in here in just a second, but let's take a walk around. Really nothing to see down this way, and I want to stay away from that guy's Hummer, so we're going to go around the other way. Can't get over that sign, though. That's so cool. And it's funny how they punched out the big sign, but they left the uh, enter and exit signs over there. That's funny. Okay, here we go, guys. Check it out. Here's the entrance way up here with a little, uh, uh, I don't know that you'd really call it a solarium. It's just an entrance way. I don't think there was ever seats in there. That wouldn't really make sense by the way this place is built. But, uh, but it does look like it. it. Reminds me of an old Racks or an Arby's or a Wendy's. You gotta love that old style. So cool. We're gonna look inside in just a second here. I just wanna look around the back. Look at the uh, the roof um, shingles here. Look at that, that's so cool. They're green. I love that. A Little bit of trash and stuff sitting out here. Let's just go take a little peeky peek. Oh, we gotta go back there and check out the trash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, here's just some junk sitting here from inside let's go look back here quick and then we'll go look in the windows we got the uh trash container back here wally always makes fun of me for wanting to look in the trash areas but you never know what you're gonna find you know you might find part of a sign or something back here you just never know or a dead body please no it's just oh my god we found a lid inside there <laughs> all right it's not heavy so there's no dead bodies parking blocks. Anything cool back here? Nope, nothing cool back here except for a bottle of Croin Crown Royale. Let's look in here quick. And just some typical junk in there. Okay. Let's go on back out here. 
take a look inside. That doesn't appear to be locked, but I am not going to try to open it. We're in a very public area here, so... And I ain't going away for no 5 to 10. Okay, I don't know what this is all about here. Doesn't appear to be a window back there, but they got a piece of wood up against the wall. Take a little look-see. Here would be the entranceway. Look, they've peeled up all the flooring and stuff. I know. <laughs> What in the heck? They got all these little solar lights around the edges here and stuff. Here's an old table, it looks like. All right, let's take a peek. Ooh, they got it down to the skeleton in there. But they do still have the uh, the front little thing there, whatever you call it. What's it say on there? Look, they got words on there. I can't quite make it out, but maybe we'll be able to see it in the video. I, I got a reflection of light here that I can't really tell right now. But I'll look back in the video. Definitely doing a little bit of work in here. If we can see through there, that's not very clear. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, they got it pretty well gutted in there, guys. Look at that. Huh. Go look at these windows over here. What's this say? Perkins of Canfield would like to thank you for your patronage over the years. Patronage? <laughs> I can't even talk. This location is closing. But please visit us at our other locations. Austintown, Boardman, and Niles. I don't even know if those are still open. Thank you for everything. Looks like they got plastic up over all these windows so we can't see anything in there. But there's another look in the little breezeway there, whatever you call it. We used to have, uh, we had a couple houses actually where we had a little room in the front and we called it the breezeway. So let's go up front here, see if we can see through these windows into the what would have been the dining room, I guess. Look at this, I'm out here exploring in yellow shoes, yellow car. Nah, you can't see anything in there. They got blinds pulled. Crap. Oh well. Try out here before we go. Yeah, it looks like they got these dark shades pulled. You can just barely see um, the other windows through there. I bet you at night though, well, I guess they'd have to have a light on inside, but at night, Hi! You might be able to see through these. There's an old blockbuster in my area where um, at night there's a light on inside and they have those black shades pulled but you can see through the black shades at night because of the light in there and you can still see a lot of the former blockbuster in there. Really cool. Alright guys, that's it. Just a quick look at this old Perkins. Again, I love this sign. And the video probably doesn't even do it justice. You never realize how big these signs are until you actually walk right up to them. I mean, that thing is at least 10 to 12 feet wide. Huge. I could probably stand up in that thing. Pretty cool.